Here we are, day 9 through 10, and I'm going to be checking in with you guys so you can see how my progress is going from week 1. Just going to do a little bit of shirtless posing, roll up my shorts a little bit. You guys can see how much leaner I look this week. As you can tell, we are losing a little bit of weight. We are looking a little bit leaner on the front. There's not as much to grab there on the stomach. There's even some definition showing more in my legs, my calves, and even some of my arms when I flex. I'm going to turn, face the back so you can see how my back is doing. A little more definition in the upper back and my arms, as I can tell, which is very, very good. Some more muscle definition. That's what we want. We're trying to shred up, look good. Now you can see how my face is looking. It's looking a little bit thinner. You can see some more of the jawline, so it's not as much chubbiness there as it usually is. What's up, you guys? So yesterday I did not take any video except that video of uh, where I showed you guys my progress right now. And reason being was I actually got sick. It was the kind of sickness where you want to take a nap after just raising your arm for a little while. It just tires you out real quick. And you feel cold, but your body's actually really warm. <clears throat> you feel full, you, you feel not hungry, but you haven't eaten in 12 hours. I mean, I probably didn't eat anything from like, all I had yesterday was the breakfast meal at like nine, and then steak at like seven, and that was it for the day. That's all I could eat. So I didn't go to the gym, because if I had, it would just put me backwards. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have been good. There, I do say push through sickness when you can. Don't use it as an excuse, but if you're so sick that you feel like napping all day and uh, you literally feel like throwing up after every single movement that you make, then you should probably take a day off. So I do say push it, but there is a limit that you need to know. So if you hit that limit, stay back. Don't, don't make yourself get any worse than you already were. So... Because I took a day off and slept all day, I feel much, much better. So my appetite still hasn't really returned yet. May or may not get all my meals in, but we will try. I've only eaten two meals right now, and it's already about 1 o'clock. And the chicken tastes legit like sponge. It There's no flavor to it, nothing at all. I didn't even taste the spaghetti and broccoli. It just... Couldn't. I had to drink like a liter of water with one meal just to get it down. And you should be starving at this point. You should be extremely hungry, but I'm not yet. So we'll see what happens. I am going to train today. Going to do arms. Just going to try and keep it uh, not too taxing on the body because I do want to get better before tomorrow, Thanksgiving. Cause family's coming over. You are. You should be trying to do like six workouts a week. But I mean, even if you don't get that much, it's not going to be huge. It's not going to be, you know, colossal, if, for lack of a better word. But still try to hit six workouts a week and try to be active on the seventh day. But if you can't, it's not a break. Make a break. Really, the diet is the most important part of the program. I mean, it's because you can get really the same amount of results with uh just doing hit cardio every single day, I think. But for me, that's that would get boring after a while. And plus, you may start to lose muscle in, if you're not using the muscle after a certain period of time. That's just in my experience. And also, it's also fact, really. I prefer to do weightlifting just because I find that a lot more enjoyable than just doing hit cardio every single day. And also because you do start to lose muscle if you're not working the muscle after a certain period of time. So my goal is to maintain as much muscle as I can, just lose the fat, just shred up a little bit. It's not just weight loss for me. So if it is just weight loss for you, then you can do the hit cardio every single day. But preferably you want to do the weight lifting. You want to keep the muscle you have. But yeah, we're getting this day going. Going to work out today sometime. And I'll see you guys then.
quick rundown of the workout today. It, uh, I didn't record it just because it wasn't any exercises that uh, we haven't done before or any exercises that I couldn't just explain. So all the meals that uh, I got in today were the two that I had before the first video for today. It's all my body would let me take in. It was getting to the point where I would chew just a piece of chicken and I would just chew it. I couldn't swallow. My tongue, my stomach would not let me. All I got in today was those two meals and a protein shake. That was it. That was all my body let me get down. And it sucks because I'm trying to eat, hit the recommended amount of protein per day, but my body isn't allowing me to do that right now. But stuff happens, you gotta be able to adjust to it, you gotta improvise. So what I did to compensate for the lack of calories that I had today was I just cut out the cardio acceleration of the workouts. So, but I still didn't rest. I, uh, today we did arms and shoulders and how we did it was uh, for arms, we just did straight supersets. We did uh, a bicep exercise, superset it with a tricep exercise and we did about four sets, 15 for both exercises, and we just did no rest. We just went back to back to back to back to back. So, uh, first exercise, first superset really was, uh, it was uh, tricep pushdowns, cable, superseted with rope, cable extension, curls. Or cable uh, rope is when you're keeping the rope together, you're just pulling it towards you. Like just like any other curls, kind of like a hammer curl variation, but the tricep push down, same as we've done before. Keeping your elbows locked in tight, pushing it down, trying to keep your elbows in one spot. Second superset was uh, cable. For our first two supersets, we did just cable exercises. We did, uh, for the second superset, we did easy bar uh, cable curls, four sets 15, with uh, rope uh, pull downs. And <clears throat> remember, easy bar curls, we kind of bend over a little bit, keep our, make sure our uh, upper arm is perpendicular to the floor so it's pointing straight down so that way it's concentrated on the bicep as much as possible and for the push down keeping your elbows locked in pulling the rope apart at the bottom not rotating your wrist keeping your wrists locked keeping them in the same position the entire time <coughs> and the uh, third superset was spider curls which is the same as we did last week with uh, the dumbbells touching each other bent over on a bench and arms perpendicular to the ground, just fourth, that's 15. And that was supersetted with a tricep machine that we haven't used yet. And uh, it's basically just the same variation would be if you did a lying uh, dumbbell extension. And right after that, we did uh, shoulders. First exercise for shoulders was just uh, seated lateral raises. For that one, we did uh, four drop sets. So we did uh, 15 reps with a heavy weight, and then we dropped the weight about 25%, uh, and 25-30%. Uh, and then we went, we did another uh, 15. Second to last exercise was uh, seated uh, hammer strength machine military press. So basically, just seated shoulder press. You don't have to do hammer strength, it's just a pressing movement for the shoulders. For that one, we did four sets 15. Last exercise we did was a rear delt movement, lat pull downs on a lat pull down machine, but it was trying to focus on your rear delts the entire time. It was kind of hard. I kind of did get some connection, but 
Not that much. We did force this 15 there too. So we did our sets back to back to back to back. No rest in between for the uh, bicep, tricep supersets, the three supersets at the beginning. And for shoulders, we did we did rest. We didn't do any supersets. We did uh, just enough rest time for our training partner to go. So that is the end of the workout. And I legit have not eaten a, a solid meal since noon. My body will not let me. I I feel it right now. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get a workout in. I may just take another rest day, just to let my body just get rid of whatever it has right now, because I don't want this staying with me. It's gonna affect the rest of the program. For today, that is the end of the video. I'm sorry we didn't have a training, any training shots today, but it was. It was wasn't anything that I could I couldn't explain to you guys just now and just wanted to have some time to enjoy with my buddy. Just talk and catch up because we hadn't seen each other in a couple of weeks. So that is the end of the video guys. I'm gonna catch some shut eye and enjoy Thanksgiving with my family. Talk to you guys in the next video.